Oh yes, and stopping and restarting. He does not like the camera. Oh, what's the paparazzi going to chase after you, my angel? Look at Mama Soul. There's a beautiful Mama Soul face. Can I have a kiss? Come on, Mama, do kisses. Give me a kiss. Oh, you're rude. Give me a kiss. Headbutt will do. Where you going? Where you going, my love? Mm. Where you going? No, it's mm, all kinds of cat are in my mouth. I'm probably floating all over. My little angel face. I love you. What are you looking at down there, Mister? Oh. Orbs and birds and butterflies. Oh, my. That's a cat whiskers. <laughs> right, thank you for licking the phone. What was that? 54 seconds, 53 seconds. I can't stay down there. Dang. Stop my circulation. <sighs> and I can't eat yet. My body parts feel heavy. And I get lightheaded a lot. Like right now, just standing up. And if I don't buy me an effing thumb brace, for God's sakes... And nauseous every day, every day. And today I think I have a gum abscess. So I could hear my mother in my head, salt water. And sure enough, first thing I did, rinse with salt water. What is it, Angel Face? I turned the chair around. This was, I'm going to sleep in the bed tonight. I use this as a backboard, because, uh, or a headboard. I don't even have one in the bedroom. That's a concrete wall. You know how many nightmares I had? I walk in my sleep. My dreams are real. I, whatever I'm dreaming, I act out. So I woke up like Spider-Man on the concrete wall trying to jump out a window. Because in the dream, I turn over in bed and there's my husband all in black laying next to me. Straight out, no emotion, not moving, alive. Barely, but not dead, just there. Happened like three nights in a row. I didn't know what state, if it was Illinois, Las Vegas, New York, Massachusetts. I didn't know where I lived. I didn't, this is right after the strokes. I didn't know why he was there. He was living here in this loft. And I'm on the second floor and those windows are impossible. And I, there was a, in the dream, window like that above the bed. And I'm trying, and they're a bitch to open. Let me tell you, dear God, it's like entering a strongman contest just to get the freaking window open. And I am in my dream trying to get the screen up and the window so that I could jump. The whole time in bed, he's never moving and he's all in black. And uh, I finally wake up and I'm like all scraped up because I'm scraping the wall that's woke me up. And I got one leg up against the wall and my hand like that, trying to leave my husband. And it took me, that happened here in Massachusetts, I guess maybe two, three months after my carotid artery surgery. And, uh, I had to call my psychotherapist, and I was future dreaming a lot of stuff, and I had to tell her, I don't know what's real and what's not. And what was happening was the dreams I was having were future dreams. Some would happen the very next day, some the next week, some would happen in succession the way I dreamed them, one, two, three, it would take a month. But they were so real that, like, I woke up and told my daughter, you got in Times LA, I saw the letterhead, 100%. You get your own dorm room, your high honor rolls. How do you know, Ma? They called. No. Well, you got an email? No. You got a letter? No. Well, how do you know, Ma? I said, I saw a letter. She said, from where? I said, holy shit, that was a dream. Oh, my God, that was a dream. Oh, my heart broke because I felt like I let her down. Very next day, just as I saw it, the letter comes, I open it. 100% covered, MCLA, high honors, has her own private dorm room, dean's list, yeah, just as I saw it. A lot of that happens. A lot. But while you're in that world, or in that space, or in that dimension, you come back. It's disorienting, and I've lived so many places. <sighs> I come back, I'm not sure that I know where I am. I mean, more so now, I'm good with it, but after the strokes, not so much. And it also depends on the emotion. I've had dreams where I was scared for someone and uh, knew that they were in danger, and I came back all flustered to know where I was because I was so afraid for them. I don't know how I could be tired right now. I slept from, I don't know, whenever the sun comes up, seven, eight. Oh, that's like a comet. 
in the bedroom, I was fine until the sun came up and blasted those friggin' windows. Whatever it costs, whatever my hands have to do, whatever arthritis, gadget, googly, googly goo, I gotta invent. I am making drapes. I don't care if I make them out of comforters. I don't care if I make them out of these friggin' blankets. I gotta make them from steel. And I don't care if I stick things in the ceiling and hang them from the ceiling to the floor. And I sew weights at the bottom so they stay. If the cats go near them, let me tell you, it's gonna be holy terror up in here. Um, the light, I can't wait. My, I'm an empath. And Oh my god, I'm a night person. I always have been. Can't take the light. And people buy lofts like this for the light, which is beautiful. I love to open and look at the mountains in the fog and the rain. And I love it. But, you know, when I'm getting up, going to bed at four, five, six, seven, eight in the morning, I need darkness. And I need quiet. And it's so noisy. I gotta find a way to make this place quiet. Dear God, help me with that, please. Quiet and dark. And then there are days that I can have every window open and every light on, and it, no matter what I do, it's dark. Photograph on TV, pictures on TV, dark. Everything's got like a gray film in front of it. Look at him being a nosy ass self. That gold is going somewhere. Stop, not, and not for you to mess up, because I knew you were going to do that. That song, I just played this song. I can't, my hands are so bad, I can't even pick it up. Dear God, I need to reverse what I just said. My hands in this moment cannot lift things, but each moment is a new moment to be a better me. I, I, I have to look up some affirmations. I can't speak negative like that and expect change. Be the change you want to see in the world, right? There's a lot of activity here. I'm so dizzy. I love what I did. I just don't know what's missing now. Okay, maybe. I got my little... Some stuff down there, maybe not so bright. I don't know what to do with that. The wall's got to be painted. And that, that light's too bright. I, gotta, I need a darker light. But I like it. I like it. And my front drawer looks awesome. It's got to be sprayed down, bleached, sturdy, but... Thing I need, God bless you, is to hang a sheet under that and cover that. Oh, I'm so tired, my eyes are black. Black. Oh, skin is peeling. Oh, I can't, I, I shouldn't be this tired. I think, hello, babies. The exhaustion comes from this bullshit. And then I don't, when I finally am able to make a painting or rearrange the furniture or bathe for an hour or whatever, the very next day, like, all this, I'm all calloused and, and then skin's, like, literally hanging off and I'm in wicked pain and I can't use my fingers. So that's why my motto is don't stop till you drop. Because once I drop and come to, my fingers will be good, no good for two days. I cannot believe that I get calluses like that. And then, you think, you know, all right, cuticle never clean it up. I get raw. Talk about sensitive and wanting to be out of your skin. That's like what's happening lately. Good tip, my angel. Okay, I'll see if there's anything on playback. Eight minutes in, that's too much. I need to put a picture up there. Ah, I know what you want to do, the pink butterfly. Got a headache, I got, there we go again, sudden onset headache, that has been happening a lot. Ascension symptoms, this floor is effing freezing. Oh my god, it sucks, it's so cold. I'm so sick of this weather, I'm so sick of it. Because it's painful. Mother Nature must have won the bet, I would think that she would like spring and flowers and I love my altars, love them, love them, love them, love them. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do a guided meditation. I think tonight for healing. And I do sleep with high frequency and angelic healing and reducing all that stuff. The binaural beats. And again, I'll say it again. No, my tree's never ever coming down. It's too windy in here, huh? You think I'm kidding? But I'm not. And I need music to inspire me or to make me. And I every hour or so I find balance, and then I lose it, and then I start that shaking rapid. Breathing, 
anxiety, and I think half of that is a pain, back, hands, yada, yada. And the rest of it is, uh, I think, universal. My kids are asleep, so it's not that. But my house is clean and bright and shining. All right, it feels like a weekend, but it's not. It's Thursday morning. My ears are ringing loud. I gotta ice my back and do one last thing to make a wall look pretty. Don't know quite what it is yet, but I'm working on it. Be love, be light, be kind. Thank you for watching. Sorry this one was boring. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.